We're back here at Maryland Spring Sports Media Day 2024 with Maryland Track and Fields. Eric, Eric Albright and Eric, um, you're in the middle of the indoor season. You guys have one of the longest seasons indoor to outdoor. Uh, what are you looking forward to specifically in the outdoor season as you guys kind of get that started here in a few weeks? Uh, I love the spring break trip to start off the outdoor season. It's a really fun time. We go to Florida, have a UCF meet, get to train there for uh, the whole week. So being there, being with the whole team, doing all the activities with them and doing the meet as well is a really fun time, really good way to start off the, the spring season. Track and field is kind of interesting in the sense that it's such an individual sport, but yet you guys are in a big-time team environment. Everyone's trying to push towards their own individual goals that helps the team. How do you kind of mesh the team goals with your own individual goals for your own performance? Yeah, so in training is really where it starts. You're all training together, and so having a good group of training partners is really going to push you to do well in practice, and your practice uh, effort, the work you put in in practice, is what is what really elevates you during the meets to perform well individually and you also just like to see your teammates uh, compete well so if you're in a meet with your teammates uh, you're running the same event as them you're like hey I know I can work with this guy and you'll just work off of each other in the meet and you're just looking to, to succeed all around. You guys have a head coach in Andrew Valman who has about as much experience as you could have both as a coach and as a high level athlete how does he impart that wisdom to you guys each and every day? Yeah so Coach V isn't my personal um, coach so I, I don't work with him on the on the training side but having him around is definitely big for for when I'm at meets, if I'm feeling nervous or at the big meets like Big Tens last year, I was feeling really nervous and had to consult with him and say, hey, Coach V, you know, I'm feeling really nervous. And he'll just go through, you know, what he experienced, how he dealt with his his track and field career. And it's really helpful, just his wisdom with that. I'm going to let you earn some brownie points here for your teammates. Blow up some of your, your, your training partners each and every day. Who, who should Turf fans look out for in your area? All right, so Matt DeHaas, he just came in from uh, St. Louis. He's a transfer from St. Louis, uh, fifth year here, originally from the Netherlands. He's been a, a great addition to the team, really good training partner. Uh, my roommate since freshman year, Cliff Cardi, uh, has just been a great person to be around, as well as Justin DePinto, Anthony Petrillo, new guy Max Worley just came up from the club team. Uh, Mo Juba, he also just came from uh, UMass, a transfer. He's just a great big personality to have around the team. Um, the, the training group is, is one of the best we've, we've had so far. Unfortunately, we lost some guys uh, last year. They just graduated, so we had a good group, and I was a little nervous going into this year about how the training group would feel as far as being fun, and it's really just been a ton of fun, and we've had a great group of guys. Um, a lot of good performances so far, and we're just looking forward to the outdoor season. That's how you pump up your teammates. <laughs> very nice job. Check out umterps.com for everything Maryland track and field. Eric Albright, thanks so much. Thank you very much.